Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Endless Legend campaign. So I think the, uh, which, which quest would make the most sense to pay closest attention to? In a region that belongs to your empire, pacify at least one village. Well, we're working on parlay. Four more turns. We'll be able to do that soon. We don't necessarily need to, um, to have parlay. We could just attack a village, but I feel like that's kind of foolish at this point. I'm not really sure, but we do another movement. We are at the end of a turn, so let's go ahead and wrap this turn up. Kua'usk is uh, eight turns from more growth. Only one more turn, we'll get the Founder's Memorial, which will be nice. Another one influence per turn. And then just a, a random smattering of FIDS, which stands for Food, Industry, Science, and Dust. FIDS. I don't know why they, they don't put it in that order. F-I-D-S-I. Food, industry, science, dust. Fizzed. Fizzdy. Not fidzy. But, I don't know. I guess it's a remnant from endless space, perhaps. Um, we can always close that. But, I find it nice to have that open all the time. Okay, um, let's go to our first unit. First boars. These guys don't have the leader, so we're just gonna kind of go explore with them. This white line is the region border, by the way. I'm curious what that means. And I don't really think we need to tell her every turn. We can just we could just end the turn and she'll continue to Oh, actually hold on. Stay still. That is an unexplored ruin. We should have definitely hit that up. Shoot. I told you to stop, woman. Yeah, we need to go back and get that, I think. It's only... We have time. We do have time. Okay. So there's not really much else to do on this turn, either. Three more turns, we'll have Language Square. We've got our Founder's Memorial. Next, we're working on the sewer system. More happiness and more approval. I feel like that's a pretty good call. Let's see if there's, uh... You know, the public library is one of our quests. It would only take four turns. And I do like it. I really do. Is it more important than the sewer system is the real question. Hmm. I feel like our, our happiness is fine, really. Yeah, let's, let's bump up the public library. Four turns for it. It's not bad at all. Yeah, a settler would take seven turns at this point. It's quite a long time. We could potentially buy one. A settler would cost how much? 478. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, sorry. We're gonna have you go and search. Searching a ruins doesn't take a turn. So yeah, 30 dust. See how we took two movement. We went one, two, and then searching the ruins is free as long as it's adjacent to you. So it only took two movement to go back and then two to go forward. So we only really wasted one turn. Whoops. It happens. Got a Hernus village down there. Botanical Garden. Ten happiness. Or ten approval, rather. We've got an emeralds deposit. So from here, I'm thinking it looks like there's water down here, but I do want to explore pretty much everything. Let's try to go in this direction. Hey, we did find one more ruin. So we'll go there next. That'll do it for our turns. Two more turns on the language center. We should actually probably try to get a uh, another unit nearby, a a town, so that we can parlay with them right away. But how much would it cost to get another ranger? Sixty-five production, one hundred thirty-six dust. A third ranger might be more valuable than the sewer as well. Now that we have two influence, we could also consider 
spending some of our dies to boost up our influence growth. Influence is going to be very useful for this empire plan. Um, in eight turns, we get to use the empire plan. So that's the next time we're allowed to turn it on. And what that's going to do is we spend our influence points that we've accumulated on different simulated things. Like, for instance, we could say plus three per person. And that means it's going to cost us 20 influence to enact this plan. Or we could enact 20% science on cities. Or two vision on units. And that'll last for a fixed number of turns. So influence can be very useful for that. And it allows you to have a more powerful empire plan. So, I don't know though. I think, um... Ah, what the hell. Let's just do it anyway. For ten turns, we'll grab some more influence. Are you sure you want to use this pack of resources? I do. Yeah, why not? That makes our empire at happy as well. So we get plus 15% science, plus 15% dust. Um, and then also in Kua Usk, I believe happiness is also going to affect production and food as well. So it's a flat 15% bonus to everything. The only thing I'm kind of confused by is I don't know why it shows on the Empire bonuses Dust and Science, but then it also affects... It affects all of them. Science from Happy. Production from Happy. This one from Happy. I mean, it's just... I don't know why it's... I don't know. That confuses me, but... Apparently 65% happiness or approval is a very good number to be at. So that was probably the right decision. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? We found 30 dust. Now we could continue to explore with you, or we could bring you back to parlay with one of the one of the peoples that are in our region. Actually, hold on, am I misunderstanding? Is there not a, uh, a village within our region? I don't see one. Perhaps there's one down here. Well, the ranger's only 65 industry. We're making 23 per turn right now. Let's have this um, this one head down here, and we'll go talk to this village just to see if we can parlay with them. Even though they're way away from us. I just want to see what that does. Uh, we could queue up the burrow as well. This burrow. Two and three, one and three, one and three, one and three, one and three. I'm thinking we want to to get this crystal forest. District with strategic resource. We got the titanium deposit. The burrow. Minus one food, plus one dust, one science, one approval on city. Minus 10 approval. Can be used as a resource extractor. Well, we can't quite get all the way out there, but this does seem like a good spot to plan for it. And that's probably more important than the sewer system again still. Although, now I'm tempted to see how big of a bonus we can get for being really happy. It's hard to say. Let's go check out our dude. found a glass steel deposit. I think we just head straight for it. Well, let's just go halfway and we'll kind of continue to explore as we go. These are temple ruins that have already been explored. So that must mean that there is another player nearby. Wouldn't be surprising, considering we haven't discovered any other major players yet. Okay. Next turn. We've got Language Square. How do we want to research things next? The search party. Improves search on ruins. That would be good. Geo Geomic labs. It's too on terrain with science. It's tempting. Um, we could do any of these. It's not like you have to do the inner row first or anything. I'm just 
You know, unlocks tier one weapons made of titanium or glass steel. I think we do have. Yeah, we have five, five glass steel. We could do that. Or advanced armor. Open pit mine. You know, we have an, a we have need for that, actually. Request. And the ability to to get that stuff would be nice. I don't really feel like we need the new unit type. Maybe just more dust. Dust is always good. Now let's go for the advanced alloys. We've got the, uh... We've got this glass steel. I want to use it. Plus we're about to deck out our... Our hero with that cool shield. Alright. Anyone else need to move? Uh, they all They both need to move, apparently. So we've got Parlay. Let's go talk to these guys. So now we have the opportunity to attack. We can bribe them. Bribe the Miner Faction Village. It will pacify immediately, but at a cost. When performed with a hero, this action provides a base value of one experience. Or we can initiate negotiations with a Miner Faction Village. If you fulfill their demands, all of their villages in the region will be pacified. When performed with a hero, this action provides a base value of two. We have no hero in this group, but uh, we'll try parlay anyway. This minor faction seems surprisingly dismissive of your power, given that you are pathetic in comparison to your lordly brilliance. Perhaps if other people had the same excellent opinion of you that you have of yourself, diplomatic efforts would go more smoothly. So, all those fools with the glory of your empire colonize the region of on them. We'll get 15 emeralds and pacify all of theirs in the region. So, they want me to colonize down here. Interesting. May have been a mistake to, to try to parlay with these guys. Might have been better to try to parlay, parlay with people who are closer to us. But, um, just having missions, having quests exposed might not be a bad thing. Okay, let's go over here. We've met another haunts town. Fortunately, going through this, this forest is going to cost us two movement. Parlay. We want to parlay them. Sure. The tribe has informed you their kidnapped brothers are somewhat in a nearby, are somewhere in a nearby region called Hellcrest. Locate the right Delvers village, which has a marker on it, and destroy it. We'll get fifth, ten, ten blood crystal. 25% attack on units. It's hmm. an interesting quest. It said which region? That was Free Our People quest. In Hellcrest. So somewhere in this region we would have to kill a village. Interesting. We could do that, actually. I think we could do that just fine, come to think of it. Advanced Alloys will take us six turns. Two more turns, we'll have our public library complete, which will complete one of our quests, which will award us a public library, because, you know, reasons. Interesting quest. A new Empire plan will be unlocked in six turns. Save some influence points if you intend to implement critical policies. Thanks for letting me remi reminding me. Click to focus on the quest originating from this village. That's useful. Let's see what you see. You see a wall. Or a dirt field. Okay. Looks like this is the turn. Where we will get to equip our cool shield. Okay, with a hero-led army, loot as many treasures as you can in six turns. Use a hero-led army to search the next location indicated on the map. We have gained 15 titanium. The next reward is 80 dust. Wow. Location is where? Down here. You want me to search it again? Okay. Well, first off, let's search this one. Valiant Lightning. It's a crossbow. Crossbow is named. It takes 10 titanium. Plus 50% attack, plus 50% damage. 
8 damage, 15 attack. It's it's really good. Awesome. So, can we, uh... You've already searched surrounding locations, so how does that make sense then? How can we search it if it's already been searched? Well, I guess we just have to go there. Okay. Well, that is what we shall do then. We've taken care of our movements. We are one turn away from the public library. After the public library, we're making another ranger. Just to have one. And we do have 188 dust, so let's do this. Let's go to our hero. And let's see if we can maybe buy any equipment. We have our 15 titanium now. Which is perfect, because we can equip both items. We can put a break wall on her. Him, sorry. And the valiant lightning crossbow. So one-handed crossbow. One-handed shield, so we can use both. If we were to do this... Watching the attack and damage values. 30 damage, 78 attack. Very, very significant increase in damage. And this other quest item also increases attack and damage. So she's going to do a lot of damage. 41 damage. With a range of 3. It's really good. I think we're going to spend all of our titanium on it. I like it. You cannot change the equipment of the hero outside of one of your own regions. I knew that. Apparently we're not going to do that quite yet. She's going to come down here and search that thing, and then while she's in our region, we'll, we'll equip her cool stuff. So, cool, cool. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.